Hello everyone and welcome to another video of the Sky Channel. Now in this video I'm going to be sharing information on one of the deadliest shooter ant squads that are out there. I'm going to be explaining which ants are part of this squad and of course which insects as well and I'll also explain why it works so well together. In the end I'll also let you know which ants you could use in the replacement in case you do not have some of the ones that are needed for this squad. But before we begin, I want to give a big thank you to our sponsor, Aptoid. They're offering some amazing bonuses for in-game purchases that you all can take advantage of. You're looking at around 10 to 35% bonuses on in-game purchases, which is obviously amazing because essentially every time you spend $100, you're getting back about a 10 to 35 dollars to spend on some additional packs so how to avail this bonus we are going to have a video shared in the description which will go through all the steps with you i'll also put the steps down below in the description if you would prefer to follow it along that way now you're looking at a minimum 10 percent bonus if you use guys promo code now the promo code changes over time you can find the most updated promo code in the description below as well now, Aptoid has a special bonus day coming up soon, which is November 30th, and you get an additional 10%, which means your minimum is actually 20% bonus that you're going to get if you use Sky's promo code. And of course, the maximum remains 35 because I had already included that in the maximum that you can get. I also want to mention that if you do follow along all those steps and do make at least one purchase uh, using Sky's promo code, do fill out the form that's also shared in the video of Aptoid before December 10th and four users will be selected and they'll get $25 gift cards to use for in-game purchases through Aptoid. Awesome, so let's get back to our video. So the best shooter ant squad looks something like this. As you can see, killer ants, he is maximizing on this unit. You can see the EP, which is the insect, and then there's DB, which is in row one, then there's Weaver, and then there's Wise Berserker. Now I'm gonna go through each of those ants and I'll explain why they work so well together and why they're performing miracles when you put them together and even people much stronger than you are not able to stand a chance to beat you. Let's start with DB. Okay, I do have DB. I have been fairly fortunate. Let's go there and start with them. So the skill one is uh, fairly common. There isn't much special thing here. Skill two, and if you read that out, it's in the first three rounds, all of your shooter and attack goes up by 80% and normal attack damage goes up by 100%. That is amazing. And this is, of course, at level 10. As you can see at level 20, basically two star, it is 100% extra attack and 125% extra normal attack damage. Now, this doesn't tell you a lot by itself, but essentially in the first three rounds, it is giving you a lot of extra normal attack damage and of course attack as well which helps with normal attack damage as well. Now this is of course the defense skill. It is actually better than other non-Baron ants. You'll notice it goes all the way up to 96%. This is a new update by the developers. Baron ants actually do give you better stats and that's why it's going up all the way to 96% quite amazing right same here with the attack it goes all the way up to 96 percent at four star over here we are looking at the fifth skill and if you read that out it's in the first three rounds all of our shooter and squads have a 75 percent chance of entering splash status and their normal attacks will deal 100% damage to two other enemy squads. Now, if you see what we are looking at, in skill 2, we're doing much better normal attack damage due to a higher attack and higher normal attack damage percentage. And also, in the fifth skill, 
in the first three rounds, we're getting a 75% chance to enter splash status, which means that we're doing splash damage to all squads, right? You're doing normal attack damage to the main squad and then 100% damage to two other enemy squads, essentially meaning you're doing damage to all of the squads in the enemy unit. And as you can see at five star, you are looking at 90% chance of entering splash status, which is absolutely amazing and deadly. As you can see, just by looking at these two skills, you can see why it is such a game changer. Then we are looking at uh, the colony leader. Let's go straight to 20. It's getting us 30% attack, 24% damage as well. And if you look down there, you're actually getting a 75% extra normal attack damage as well, which is higher than normal. But I won't really call this one out because if you go back to skill one and go to the max there, in normal ants, it goes up to 50%, but in barren ants, they've reduced it to 25%. This sort of just balances it out, right? Because in normal ants, it's 50%, and here it's 75 But at one star, we are losing that 25 So it balances things out over there. Now, skill number seven, you're getting health, and you're getting it more than normal uh, non-barren ants, of course. It goes all the way up to 35% believe in normal ants, it goes up to 25% when we're talking about health. And now let's look at the eighth skill. In the first three rounds, our frontline enters a counterattack status, and when receiving a normal attack has a 100% chance to counterattack, dealing 180 plus one, which essentially means that at level 50, you'll be doing 230% damage to the attacker, and of course, if you are lucky enough to get it to 8 star, you are looking at 290% damage to the attacker. And this is a 100% chance to counterattack. Pretty sweet. Okay, that covers why DB is awesome. But this squad isn't amazing just by itself. It's actually the way they work together, which makes it so awesome. Let's go to Weaver and we'll start to see why these ants work so nicely together. Skill number one is pretty much the same. There's no real difference here. We are going to go to skill two and let's only talk about the max level effect. So 85% chance to remove negative effects from two random squads and increase their defense and health by 40% for two rounds. And by the way, I might be wrong, but this is the first time I've seen any ant actually give you health and 40%. That's amazing. And the fact of the matter is that you might just get it triggered twice in a row, right? Because you might do it once and then the next round you might get it as well. That's about 80% health, which is no joke. Now, defense and attack is pretty much the same as DB because both of these are Baron Ants. And now let's go to skill five in the first three rounds. And notice DB was also talking about the first three rounds and this is also talking about first three rounds. These ants are really focusing on the first three rounds. Okay, so in the first three rounds, two random shooter squads gain combat speed plus 90, which is, of course, amazing. Combat speed allows you to attack first, and I have said it many times, combat speed is amazing, and have a 100% chance of entering double hit status, gaining normal attack times plus one. And what that means is that you have a 100% chance to do two normal attacks, right? So now think about that. DB is giving you a very high attack and normal attack damage, and it's also giving you a splash damage, allowing you to do normal attack damage to basically all the enemy squads each time, right? Assuming you get splash status triggered. And then you have Weaver Ant, which is not only giving you some more speed so that you have a higher chance of attacking first, it is also giving two of your shooter squads two normal attacks. Right, now think about that. That's a lot of damage that you're doing because you are doing multiple normal attacks and they might be doing splash damage and you're just slicing through your enemies. Combat speed is allowing you to do you to attack first, which means that you are attacking with your full unit, right? Not the injured one. And all, just by, you know, these skills that we've covered so far, you are doing an amazing amount of damage. 
Okay, moving along, we are looking at something similar to DB here. You're getting some extra damage, health, uh, attack, and defense as well. And here you are getting up to 80% defense, which is great. And this is obviously for all of your squads. And finally, skill 8. Each time two random enemy squads take damage, the next damage they take will increase by 20% and it can be stacked up to 80%. Now, I've been trying to find out if splash damage does count towards this, because in that case, you are doing damage to two plus enemy units. And from what I've gathered, it does count. Now, there's no way for me to 100% confirm it, but a lot of people have been saying it does. So think about that, right? You're doing a lot of splash damages each time, and each time you do a normal attack, you are increasing the damage it receives by 20%, and it can be stacked up to 80%. And I believe that stacking can happen really fast because of your splash damage. And you're looking at 80% extra damage to the enemy. That is huge, right? So just by looking at these two ants working together, you can see that this is a deadly combination already. Now we're going to go to the third ant, which is your lovely wise berserker that everyone probably has their eyes on. Okay, so let's see how this uh, works and how it actually helps with the two ants that I've talked about before. Pretty standard skill one. Now notice, of course, it's 50% normal attack damage, unlike the Baron ants that were 25. But this is not that amazing because it will get balanced out in the skill six so now let's go to skill two. After each normal attack, there is a 60% chance to deal up to 400% damage to the enemy's front line. That is a lot of damage. And it says after a normal attack. So it doesn't say that, you know, there's a 60% chance to deal this damage. It says 60% chance to deal it after a normal attack. Now, remember what Weaver used to do? It used to increase the number of normal attacks, which means that you could theoretically be releasing the skill twice within the same round, right? And if you add that up, that's up to 800% damage that you are doing to the enemy's front line. Absolutely huge amount of damage. Moving on to skill three, it is fairly standard for a class specific one of course it's not benefiting from the baron uh and bonuses so it goes up to 76 percent defense and attack in skill three and skill four let's go to skill five and let's go right to five star after a normal attack has a 60 percent chance to deal 350 percent damage to two random enemy squads now, this is two enemy squads, and again, this is also after a normal attack, which means that, again, theoretically, you could be doing this twice within the same round. And that's 350% damage to two enemy squads. Now, if you're doing this twice, it's about 1,400% damage. Of course, it might not be the same squads each time, but overall, it's a 1,400% that you could be doing in one round just because of scale 5. Now, you can see how Wise Berserker fits into this team. It is like the skill damage killer. But the interesting thing is skill damage isn't the only thing that it actually helps with. And we'll see that soon. Skill 6, it's going to add a decent amount of attack, defense, and normal attack damage as well. I'm not going to talk too much about this because, as I mentioned before, it does balance things out, you know, Baron Ants giving you 75% in skill 6, but they give 25 in skill 1. This one gives you 50-50. It still adds up to 100% normal attack damage. And now we're going to talk about skill 7, 66% shooter and attack to all squads, which is fairly neat. And now the last skill at 8 star, you're looking at 75% extra normal attack damage and skill damage. And of course, as you can imagine, this is amazing because you are maximizing your normal attack damage in so many different areas, right? You're getting normal attack and normal attack damage from DB. You're getting extra damage from Weaver. And now you're getting extra normal attack damage from Weiss Berserker as well. 
Now, as you can imagine, these ants work really well together. And even if your enemy is stronger than you by a lot, I've seen people actually destroy their enemies just because they have these three ants working together. And the biggest damage that they're getting is not skill damage. It's actually normal attack damage of their squads just because of the way this unit is designed. And as you can imagine, it is pretty heavy on the first three rounds, right? Everything happens in the first three rounds. You do a massive amount of damage to the enemy and clear out most of their units right there. And essentially the game is over within the first three rounds. And if it isn't, it's going to be over soon, assuming you do end up on top. Now let's go to the insects. Now, up until a little while ago, you had two options, and those were EP, the fancy looking orange mantis, or CC, which is essentially the universal one. And of course, I was going to say EP is the best because you want to get that extra speed because you're using class specific ants, so might as well choose the one that gives you extra speed. But that's not the only thing that EP has going for it. Now, if you look at this, 50% chance of triggering the assault effect. And what it is, is during battle, each time two squads on our side deal damage, attack is increased by 25%, and normal attack critical rate is increased by 3%, and that can be stacked up to five layers. So you're looking at 125% extra attack and 15% normal attack critical rate. That's amazing because you are focusing so much on your normal attack damage. This helps a lot. And then after that effect is fully stacked, an advanced effect will be obtained. 50% chance for each attack to make an additional attack on the target, dealing 250% damage. So absolutely amazing. It's almost like EP is designed for this unit. So that's definitely the one. There are also, of course, some talents that might be interesting. Like when you defeat an enemy squad, you're getting about 16% extra damage. Then there's one here that allows you to deal up to 20% extra damage if the enemy squads have less than 50% power. And then this one allows you to get some normal attack critical rate of up to 30%, which is obviously amazing as well. Now I will mention that Rainbow Scarab came out and it does have combat speed, same as a class specific one without of course costing the talents. I do not know if this works better with this team as opposed to EP. And it just came out really recently, so I I'm not going to say that I know for sure if this is better or not. I'm just going to say that my gut feeling says that EP might still be the, the choice that I would choose just because I really like the wording of this, you know, the extra attack and, and the extra normal attack critical rate and the extra attack as well, the attack percentage. So I'll stick with that for this recommendation. However, Rainbow Scarab is too new and it hasn't been tested enough to give you a proper answer which one is actually better. Okay, perfect. So now let's talk about replacements. Now, a lot of the ants won't have a very amazing replacement that you can use, but I'll just give you some uh, potential replacements for each of them. Now, when it comes to, of course, the insect, if you don't have EP and let's say you do have Rainbow Scarab, you could use it and check it out. As I mentioned, I don't have enough information to say it's better or worse. But let's say you're a free to play player and you don't buy insects. Just go ahead and get a Mantis. Or if you did get that, you know, the new insect pack, you could just use Devil Flower. That's fine, too. So now let's talk about DB. I don't think there's an amazing replacement for DB out there, but you could potentially use Giant Tooth if you haven't been lucky enough in getting a DB and you're a free-to-play player. Giant Tooth is still a pretty nice row one defender. Next, we're going to talk about the Weaver. Now, Weaver is much stronger than NTA based on a lot of 
people that I've talked to. But if you don't have Weaver, just go ahead and use Nibble Treant. It does have the ability to allow you to do multiple uh, normal attacks, which is amazing itself, and also gives you additional combat speed for your own unit and also gives a pretty amazing normal attack damage for all of your squads. So if you don't have um, Weaver, you could just use Nimble Tree Ant. The third one is Vice Berserker. And again, there isn't really a, an amazing replacement for Vice Berserker, but I will say that if when I didn't have uh, Vice Berserker, I was using my six star Reap Master uh, instead. Now, that being said, I don't have a lot of those ants, so I was actually using Nimble Tree Ant and Reap Master and DB, which was working just fine as well. So if you don't have a Wise Berserker, you could put Reap Master in the third row because it is a good damage dealing ant. And even with it, you do end up doing a pretty decent amount of normal attack damage. I will show you two reports that might be interesting to see. Both of them are actually failed reports, but it's interesting to see how the numbers changed. So you can see Giant Tooth, Nimble Tree Ant, and Reap Master. And if we go down there, you can see that, you know, I did, uh, I did pretty bad. Uh, but then again, the opponent was fairly stronger uh, than me and actually was faster as well. Combat speed makes a huge difference. And of course, they were using pretty interesting ants. Now, notice that the other uh, report that I have, the only thing I changed was I switched out Giant Tooth with DB. And all of a sudden, you'll notice that the numbers are actually way better. Back in the previous report, it was close to about 700,000 damage that I was doing to him. But here I'm doing 2.2 million, so it actually came pretty close. But that's not the interesting thing. The interesting thing is look at the normal attack damage done by my last two units. So 91,000 troop kills in the row with Nibble Tree Ant and 83,000 uh, troop kills in the row with Reap Master. That is what this whole unit is about. Now imagine if I had a Wise Berserker that was also six star, it would probably wreck this enemy even though they're much stronger than me. All right, so I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please like it, please subscribe to our channel and do check out some of our other videos as well. We have a bunch of amazing videos that I believe will help everyone. Comment below if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.